The subject of class today is how to find the so-called bay. It's a, kid, a term kids use these days. And there's a lot of uh, different ways to find bay and a lot of different speculation. And uh, it's, it's been kind of a, a universal uh, quest for males in their search for bay and the best ways to find them and the best ways to easily pick them up. So, based on personal studies from my own experience, one of the best ways to pick up bay is corny pickup lines. Such as it's, it's pickup lines that are short and relatively cheesy or corny that that just convey a uh, physical or uh, a physical attraction to the other girl, and they also make you seem more uh, seem give you more physical appeal. So one forget to be like, what's up, girl? You know what this shirt's made out of? <laughs> Boyfriend material. So that's just that's just one of many possible corny pickup lines that you could use to find Bay. Now, two, hair flips and extreme eye contact. The hair flips are just kind of add to your aura of swag per se. Is that you right? So. So yes, Scott, soon we'll do a demonstration. All three of you will do a demonstration on hair flips and extreme eye contact. I cannot stress enough, extreme eye contact. Do not blink. I would, before going to meet a girl on a date or anything like that, I would I would advise putting in a whole bunch of ear, uh, eye drops before. So you don't need to blink. So you can have extreme eye contact. Make you, your, your stare will be disarming for the girl and that'll open her up and totally not make her feel uncomfortable or creepy. So that is the thing. So now class, Labby, come here, come here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see. Can you do, pretend I am a, 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 like a nine or a 10, okay? okay. And you I'm just glad. encountered me on the sidewalk and you just got off your long board, on your shakos, and you're, Shock, you're, you're trying to pick me up. Okay. So let's see. Using either a corny pickup line or a hair flip with extreme eye contact, show me how you would make me your bay. Well, if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Excellent. Most excellent, Labby. See, class, that is how you pick up girls. I mean, I, whoever, whatever girl is with Labby is a very, very lucky girl. So third, negging. This is a term, this is a relatively new term, and uh, negging refers to, it's a short for like, neg it's short for negative. So you want to, uh, you, want, you want to make the girl feel less good about herself so she can stoop down to your level, okay? So like if I'm, if say, I, I saw a five guy just walking along the street and they, she sees it, he sees an eight, well, that girl's way out of his league, yes. Yes. Right, that's so yes, okay, yes. So to bring that girl out of her league above his and bring it down to his league, he will use negging to make her feel worse about so her. Yes, yes. What's an example of negging? So I it'd be like it'd be like going up to this girl and saying, Wow, you have beautiful eyes, but they, they kind of seem kind of far apart. Got it. Yes. I'll use that yeah. one. Be yes. One. See that is one. Or you, you could compliment a girl on her smile. But then you could say she needs she needs to trim the pimp stash. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, and then kind of go to kind of kind of the antithesis of bragging is to instead of bringing her down, you'll try to bring yourself up. So bragging. So after negging the girl and seeing if that works to bring her down a level, you can see if you can raise your level some. So after calling after saying her ears look really big. You could say, you could comment on your two million Vine followers. Okay. I mean, girls love guys with lots of Vine followers. Yeah. Or you comment that you just got your your uh, your uh, frosted tips done just the other day and that you only got it for 15 bucks. Dude. Frosted tips. Girls Dude. love yeah. frosted tips. Now fifth, maybe the most important, maybe the most useful, desperation. All boys are desperate. All. So, to make sure, girls, make sure girls know this, always talk about how sad you are, or how your cat just died, or just make it seem like the last, you've been on a, a three month cold streak and you just 
all you want is a hug. A, a, a one that I use is, it's just been so long since I've felt human contact. I, yesterday, I, I went and gave a hobo $5 just to hug me. Girls love that. Girls want to have that motherly instinct. And so they want to help things that are needless or helpless. So desperation, one of the best tools to get a girl to be your bae. What's our homework? Go to the mall and use some of these six, five to six ways to pick up bae. All right, thanks, Mr. Whitaker. You're welcome, class. Hey, do you have a map? Because I'm lost in your eyes. Oh, God. Can I have your number? Uh, what's your name? Yes. Nice. Uh, well, guess what? I have a Mercedes. What? Would you like to drive it? A Mercedes. Oh, no. You don't want to drive it? Are you sure? Yeah, fine. It's really cool. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you, do you work here at Starbucks? <laughs> yes, I Because I like you a latte. I like you a latte. <laughs> do you want to do you want to go on a date with me? Yeah, sure. Really? You want to go see a movie? When? I don't know. When do you get off? Hey, I made a 98 on my physics test. Can I can I have your number? I can't I can't have your number. Because I'm just like out here looking for some girls. I make a lot of money. Would you like to have some? No. I'm really rich. Would you like to go on a date sometime? No. Okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, I haven't. Okay, so my dog just died, and I'm like, and just emotional. What, can I can I like have your number? Way older than you. Hello. All my Abercrombie and Fitch clothes got stolen, and I'm really like emotional about my Abercrombie clothes. Okay. Could I like have your number and so I can talk about it with you? What? <laughs> Could I like have your number to talk about it with you? About Abercrombie clothes? Yeah. You about how? Um, Can I ask you a question? Um, I'm debating getting my pictures done, and I don't know if I have a good smile. Can you tell me if I have a good smile? <laughs> Do you like you it? have a nice smile. Can I see your smile? I don't have a smile. You don't have a smile? Just let me see it. I can't. Come on, smile. <laughs> smile for me. I don't know how to smile. Just smile. You, but you have a nice smile, though. Can, can, come on, smile. You got to smile. <laughs> we can work on it. We can work on it. It's, <laughs> it's kind of bad right now, but... Can I ask you a question? Do you think I have a good smile? Okay, I'm sorry. Yep. I'm on varsity golf. What? Varsity golf. I play golf. I'm really good. That's like, I'm amazing. That's great. They call me the White Tiger Woods. Okay, is there a reason why you're talking to me in college? Yeah. Why? Oh, because I thought you would like to know. Okay. Well, good for you. Take care. What? Okay, bye. Oh my god, that was so bad. Oh.